Hi, this is Nikki Tina, and you're watching On the Road with Dr. Brian. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. Blues, women, and blues. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. I'm an asshole, I'm rude. I'm here, I'm there. Folks, this is Dr. Brian King. I'm here in the uh, Columbia River Gorge outside of Portland, Oregon. Uh, amazing place. Um, you can see it. Big ass gorge. Folks, I am uh, here because I want to introduce my uh, guest uh, for On the Road. Uh, my guest for On the Road, you're never going to believe this. I've talked to some interesting people while I've been on the road. Today I'm talking to a live, uh, six feet tall, uh, talking cigarette uh, a chick named nicotina who is uh is, a, is an anti-smoking crusader i don't know uh yeah we'll talk more about it but anyways uh check this shit out she's amazing so yeah. nikki how you doing i'm doing great thank you brian yeah. should i call you can i should i call you miss tina you call me nikki you call, call me you nikki tina nikki tina yeah. all right well um i did counseling for a long time mm -hmm. and uh, at some point i got very tired of sitting and decided i you know like you you, you know you're people talking about uh, um, you know, I, I fell and I, you know, I couldn't get up. Well, I stood up from the chair mm -hmm. and I couldn't sit back down. And I just, it's like I had to do something different. Um, so, uh, uh, so you were a counselor and, uh, and then you had this epiphany and he's like, you know what, I want to dress up like a, a six foot tall cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, which is what you are. You're, you're dressed like a giant cigarette, yeah. you know. Uh, it's like, but it's like a cigarette and like drag. Yeah, you know, it's basically like, so a drag. So you're like a drag. Okay, like taking a drag. Yeah. That's oh, I gotcha now. Yeah. Okay. So you're you're a you're a walking, talking cigarette who is uh, telling or, or supporting people that quit smoking. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> How'd that happen? So, what, what, that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. <laughs> like, like, okay, because here's the thing, right? I'm a fat guy, right? Like, I'm overweight, you know? And uh, the last thing that's going to get me to quit o overeating is somebody dressed like a giant pork chop. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, like, or, you know, like a giant Snickers bar walking right. around saying, hey, fat guy, don't eat me. You know, part of it is that. Besides the fact that I love drag queens, and I was trying to figure out how to be one, uh -huh. you know, being that I don't have the right plumbing for that, so, <laughs> so I was trying to figure out how to do that, and, um, uh, you know, I thought, well, uh, you know, I could be a different kind of drag queen, I could be this kind of drag queen, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And also, I think that people have this idea that, that tobacco's the problem, yeah, right? Yeah, tobacco's yeah. not the problem. Tobacco is just, like, one of the ways for us to check out, uh -huh. you know? It's not, it's not really the problem. So this is sort of me saying, yeah, it's, you know, but... It, so, does that make sense? <laughs> but you were you, you started this. You were a smoker at one point, right? Yeah. Uh, when did you say, when, when did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was twelve. At twelve. Yeah. No, no way. That's not unusual though. That's not. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Really. Okay. So like twelve, and then you spent how long did you smoke? About twenty. A little over twenty years. Twenty years. Mm -hmm. And then you, and how did you quit? It was so damn painful. Mm -hmm. I I had no idea how to stop, and so. Um, I um, I found a support group. It was kind of like AA, but it was for tobacco. And then we mm -hmm. called ourselves TA. Blockheads Anonymous <laughs> actually is what we called ourselves. See, yeah, no, we kind of have a sense of humor about I'm it. I think TA. TA. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's Dr. Brian. But, right. uh, but so, Blockheads Anonymous. Blockheads Anonymous. Okay. Yeah. Because you know you want to laugh about it. If you could have some humor about it, sure. then, you know it made it a little bit easier. But it was still so incredibly painful. Because mm -hmm. I I felt like I was 12 again. You know, it's awful. Your, uh, Nikki, when did you start being Nikki? Oh, just a few years ago. So yeah. that, that was years ago. That was okay. in uh, 1990 okay. when I stopped smoking. Stopped smoking in 90, mm -hmm. and then uh, another decade later, uh, you decide, you know what? I miss smoking so much. <laughs> 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 but I, I like to hang out with drag queens sometimes, like at Pride. Uh -huh. I march in the Pride parades and yeah. things like that, so that's pretty and good. And you tell them I'll quit smoking? No. No, no, you don't. You don't. I don't know. Have you ever tried arguing with a drag queen? Uh, I, I wouldn't advise it. They win. So you you let them smoke. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, so. I don't have anybody. You know, I mean, I really, I don't. I don't for an, I don't want to tell people what to do. For an anti-smoking individual, you don't seem very anti-smoking. I'm not anti-smoking. <laughs> Be a douche, you know. Like, I don't, how do people go about quitting smoking, according to, to Nicky Tina and kicking butts? How many people gonna kick that out? Well, my favorite 
thing. That I'll, I mean, there are lots of things you can do. I have a little book. I don't know if you've seen it yet. It's called Butt Kickers, 20 Ways to Leave Tobacco. That's Butt Kickers, 20 Ways to Leave Tobacco. Say it, you want to say it? Butt Kickers, 20 Ways, 20 ways to Leave Tobacco. You can find it on kickbuttstakenames.com. Okay. Um, it depends. How should sure people quit smoking? One of the ways that I have in the book is, uh, it might be way number 12 or number mm -hmm. 13 is have more sex. Have more sex. Yes. I like this book. I thought you I think, in fact, you know what? You could call it uh, Buck Kickers One Way to Quit Smoking. <laughs> um, That's sex. That's all you need. Really? Because you, know? you have to have something to do with your hands. Uh, it's a good right? point. That's right. Or else you're going to have that restless feeling. Yeah. Okay. So uh, if you say, like, uh, you're at the office, you're working you know, 9 to 5, you feel like taking a smoke break, take a poke break. <laughs> you know what I'm So is this, has this become sort of like a, uh, a need for you, like a, like drag, like real drag? Uh, you know, drag queens, of course, they, you know, they, they get a little anxious if they're, if they're not wearing, you know, dressing up or <laughs> Do you feel the same? Yeah, way? Exactly. I just that's me. I just oh, yeah? glitter and everything. Yeah, I want to yeah, yeah, it's a little addictive. So I just want to caution you about that in case you're thinking about this. I, I was actually thinking about rolling myself up as a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and maybe uh, walking maybe around with like a, a Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I can do that. <laughs> you find me Nico Tino. I, oh, Nico Tino. I mean the Italian cigarette. Yeah. Well, hey, quit smoking already. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Quit fucking smoking. I'm gonna bust you in the face. You know, I can do that. <laughs> Get a big gold chain. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's like, it's not a good thing. Nobody should do it. You know, you're, you're, you're a good message. to bring it to the people. But it's like, people you, want, it. you, want to, you want to hate on everybody sm that smokes. No. Uh, no? No, come on. What about the people just love it? Some people love it. How? They How do people it. love it? They the, love it. The first time anyone ever smokes, it's the worst experience in their life. It, there's no uh, benefit to smoking. The first time. Uh, yeah, so why would, why would there be a second? It's so, I mean, it's very soothing. Really? Yeah. It's hot air. It is hot, hot air. Full of it's hot air. It's toxic air, yeah. And yet you keep breathing it in. Yeah. I mean, I'm not denying it. A lot of people do it. How many, yeah. people, how many people smoke worldwide? It's a billion people. A billion? Yeah. It's like one-seventh of the pro yes. world population. Yes. That's, that's amazing. Uh, uh, yeah. And they all live in France. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not anti-smoking. So what are you? What's, what's, your, uh, what are you, what's your message? Well, you, like you asked me how many people are using tobacco. There's a billion people using tobacco, right? And uh, out of the, the billion people using tobacco, 80% of them started as kids, and 70% mm -hmm. of them um, want to stop. Mm -hmm. At least that's what the statistics say. So even if it's just half of those people who want to stop, like me, mm -hmm. like when I got to that point that I wanted to stop and I didn't know how, I think, what would it be like to have a way to stop that's free? And painless mm -hmm. and gradual, you know. You know what's free? Not buying cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't cost that's anything, but not buying. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a noble venture. When you think. And you have this. You have a book, right? Two, actually. Two. Well, let's yeah. let's both up. Okay. So one of them is Butt Kickers: Twenty Ways to Leave Tobacco. Right. By Nikki Tina. Nikki Tina. And the other one I'm actually a contributor to. Right. Okay. Yeah, Joanna wrote that one with a bunch of other people. Joanna is this other chick. That yeah. 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 More soft spoken. Yeah. 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 She's, a, you know, she's three foot tall. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no. But that one's uh, called uh, Kick Butts Take Names. Kick Butts Take Names. Yeah. And Kick Butts Take Names is the web. dot com is yes. the website where people can find you and. Uh, you know, they, 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 you know, what, what do you want to tell people as parting words? Um, it's all about freedom. It's not, don't let anybody tell you what you should or shouldn't do. You know, we get enough of that already out in, you know, in the world. Have a conversation with you. That's right, it's about freedom, folks. So don't fucking smoke. <laughs> Stop <laughs> I like it. Do, you, do, you, do you have a good time doing what you're doing? Yeah, it I seems like it. you do. You're, you're a fun person, you're having a good time. Oh, you, you couldn't dress like this and not like it. No, you better like it. Yeah, you yeah. know, especially by the time you get all this stuff on, you get the glitter on and everything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, you gotta, have, you gotta yeah. enjoy it. So.
Folks, there you have it. That was Nikki Tina. That's right, Nikki. Uh, Nick. Oh, I get it. Nicotine. Oh, it suddenly. I don't know. I didn't make that connection earlier. Anyways, uh, hey. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, don't smoke unless it's marijuana, and then smoke all you want because that's good stuff. I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. Blues, women, and blues. I'm here. I'm there. I'm everywhere. I'm an asshole. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> See? See the boots? So, so are you supporting your, your like the cigarette advocate? That no, no. Out? See, I got the little. I got that too. Oh, that's the that's the. I used to don't smoke. I used to smoke, right? Yeah. And I used to I used to love smoking until I hated it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then when I wanted to stop, I didn't know how to stop, and so I had to find a way to do that. So now I tell other people how to do it. Do you want to know? Here. Yeah. Smoke now. Someday you might want to. Yeah. Stop smoking, stop smoking, stop. Okay. It's like call my work, kick butts, take names. And just whenever you're ready, like check it out. <laughs>